Now it's time to start the extra scenarios. We'll start as Charge Counterattack, it looks like. Then it goes on to Crossbone and doing whatever. Anyways. Just the usual, you know, um... Destroy the Earth... With Axis. Now Neo Zeon's back. For those that noticed earlier, Quattro Bajima disappeared from our group. Which you would, you know, it makes sense in the series. Because he becomes Char. You know, he's already Char. Yeah, logic doesn't work. Either way, it's time to finally take him down. Kinda sad, honestly. He fought with us this entire time. Oh well. Dear God, all in gear at Dagas. Wait, do they have a support bonus with each other or anything? No, they don't. We're good. As you notice, we also got the Rock High Lam now. By the way, I want to do some encounters first. Side of what's called of the eternal is it looks cool and all, but it can only fit two units, and well, of course, it's gonna fit freedom and justice. That's probably the main downside of it. Yeah, it's everybody that will communicate with them when they fight them. That'd probably be all we need, actually. Oh well. I've been I've been liking sis um what's called Sieg and um Sea Book being a team. That's pretty cool honestly. That'll do for now. We'll probably wipe them off anyways. Oh dear god. That's why all them funnels. But it looks like it has a special attack animation with it. Nah.
Well, that activates everybody's super mode right there. Yep. 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 Seed. New type mode. Hmm? Oh no. Is where he gets class, basically. Well, not yet. Uni. If I remember correctly, basically the easy way people explained him was like they didn't want to use Camille for charge counter attacks, so they just used Guni. They created Guni as like I don't know how you would explain it. Countermeasure? Not really a countermeasure, um a substitute for Camille. Dude, God, I'm gonna slaughter all these guys, like, dear God. These guys love funnels. Then again, I guess it makes sense. Around this time, you see new ties became more of a thing. But it all depends on how you view it. Like, Dome had the perfect example. They had a perfect way of explaining it. New types are just a different path for humanity. Not really something big. They're just a different path. Try and survive somehow. <laughs> Don't tell me it's that same negative thing that. Yeah, that's right. They're basically the Sazali with the palace swap, it's weaker. I do wonder though, like, how would the excess, how would the Alice system have gone up against like these kind of units? Because remember, in Sentinel, um, the EXS and Alice and Ryu and you know all of them, they never went up against new types. The new decides were actually old types. Could have been interesting. Finding some seed. New type, new Gundam, Crossbone. Mode 1, random him on. Yeah, I swear they want her dead.
Yeah, think about it, this is like one of the few games where Santa can actually fight um, Char's counterattack, Char. Man, no use in using anything on her. The better attack is just the better attack is just to let these guys handle it. Let's retreat with her. Let's first take out the Indira Doggers. Nah, bro, Guni, you get to die. You get to die the most manly way ever through funnels. I don't wonder what her mom's reaction would have been to the likes of um Genie. Oh you need to have this. What? Yeah, I swear I hate fighting new types. Genie got lucky. Okay. We'll start with two of them first. Basically, Amuro, Judo, Haman, Camille, Sela, Uso, Kira, and Athrin have to have battle encounters. Dang. The main tough part's gonna be the fact that you can barely do anything. Dang it, that new typeness. Yep, that new typeness. Dang, goodbye, Kiri Yamato. Yeah, I might as well use these two. Incoms are cool, but I guess they're like the old type funnels, is easy way to explain them. 
now these guys are dead. So at least we're fighting off Neil Zeon though. Although it does make you wonder, like, this game is essentially like the best crossover you can get when it comes to a crossover story in early G-Gen before Double O. Makes you wonder. Like, who would really join Char though? I guess the actual people in the world it would, considering humanity kind of is evil. Ah, well. Hmm. They're taking care of his map attackers. Dang it, that new type miss. Oh, they don't do anything to a knife field. That's the only good thing right now. Oh, never mind, they will. Let's take care of this real quick. Since Seagan and Seabook are like the best team ever right now. Because they can both utilize their special attacks at the same time do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, they both require 20. For um, their super mode and 7 SP for their specials. By the way, mode 2. With that VMAX like attack, it's amazing. Kinda sad mono eyes aren't gonna appear in anything else. Would have been awesome to see them appear in Super Raw Wars. Because unlike with, um. What's it called? Unlike with G-Generation Cross Tribes originals, these guys are actual people. We gotta attack them next. First, let's take care of Guni. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Nah, bruh, your funnels have nothing on me. Hmm. Yeah, he's done, he's done. Wings of Light. Everybody gone? Yeah, looks like everybody's. Yeah, everybody's gone. Looks like. He still calls him Quattro. That's cute. Yeah, is that the uh, new type miss? Cause he's got zero zero zero. It shows he's gonna use the new type command.
Okay. He evaded instead. Whoa, again, another event that wasn't in the game? Huh. Yeah, the guy didn't say anything about that. You can get experience from that. Oh, the last three needs to engage him. We're killing them all. The good thing about Amuro and Haman stuff, though, is the fact that you can use them without relying upon energy or, or SP. They both have four uses each for their special. Dang, never mind, they're dead. Now we're just murdering. It's Amro's turn. Just to ensure that they're all kill. Oh, come on, they're dead. The good thing about the Jag Dog is it doesn't have any real threat to it, like incomes, funnels, or multi eating attacks. He's got 16 HP left. Not legit, he survived with 16 HP. That's pretty impressive, Jar. Oh, well, last events. battle we can't step down from. Dang, I love on how their commands have so much things to them. Thin funnels! Oh dear god. But it won't do much. Be finished by one and love you. I guess it depends on how you view it with love. I mean, she kinda killed his love interest that was, you know, pregnant with this kid, which I was the affair, so. You know. Kind of depends on how you view it. Ah, well, the mission's complete. What do you think about it? Haman's like one of the first forms of Yandiri that could possibly have existed. That's just scary yet cool at the same time. Oh well. 
So now we're on to Neo Zeo and stuff. And now we got Chan and Quest before she betrays us. Because, you know, reasons. Ah, well, thank you for watching, everybody. Till the next part. Goodbye.